is because she was boarding up the uh, windows because of a hurricane that was on its way. So if you hear drilling and pounding and whatever, it's the Coca Cola man in the back. So please <laughs> don't think it's a uh, hurricane warning. So, uh, so uh, please do not forget if you have not yet gotten on our uh, distribution list to please sign up. All of the uh, videos that we take are on our website. And I think Kate Reeves, if, if you uh, would like to come do a brief for a little bit short of time. So a brief chamber of the, this is the covers. Update. Here we go. Sure. Good morning. Good morning, How's everybody. Okay, so my first question before I get started, how many of you in the room are chamber members? Raise your hand. Ooh, wow, okay. Got a lot of folks in here today that are chamber members. I like it. Great. Okay, so real quick, as promised, um, just a couple of things I want to go over, some upcoming events that we have. So on Tuesday, September 11th, we are actually kicking off the Chamber's Business Education Series, um, and it's held up at the Chamber offices just upstairs at South Coast Bank and Trust. And it is available for non-members and members to attend, and this month's topic is actually going to be on hurricane preparedness. Just in time, right? Um, so that will be at 8.30 a.m. For more info, just check our website or call the office. We do have a few ribbon cuttings coming up. Um, Wednesday, September 12th, we've got local brew coffee makers on St. Simons Island. Tuesday, September 18th, coastal can cleaners. That's going to be in the South Coast Bank and Trust parking lot um, in their old parking lot area. Um, let's see, and then we've got Friday, September 21st. This is a huge event for the Chamber. This is the annual Chamber Golf Tournament. This is going to be at Sanctuary Golf Course at 8.30 a.m. And then on, let's see, September 25th, the Golden Isles Association of Realtors and the Chamber of Commerce will be um, help hosting the General Election Candidate Forum, and that's going to be at Brunswick High School. So if you're interested in attending that, uh, feel free to you know, look at our events calendar on our website, or you can contact the Chamber of Commerce. Um, and then also, we've got our Chamber Membership Benefits Clinic on Wednesday, September 26th at the Chamber office. This is a free clinic, so members and non-members are invited to attend and very encouraged for non-members to come and stop by and learn all about the benefits of the chamber. I'll be doing the clinic, so just feel free to stop by. We're going to have donuts from Dunkin' Donuts, and it's going to be a good time. Um, and then lastly, we will have our business after hours event at Marsh's Edge on September 27th. That's always from 5.30 to 7.30, available for members and non-members. And then I also wanted to point out that um, the Walk for Alzheimer's is coming up in October. I just wanted to go ahead and let everybody know about that. It's a great cause. So if you're on St. Simon's in the area, um, it'd be wonderful to, for y'all to come out and show your support. And that's going to be on Saturday, October 13th in Neptune Park on St. Simon's Island. And that is my report. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. I'm sorry, it's one more day. It's first Friday. Oh, yeah. Okay, first, it's first Friday downtown. Do you need to tell them about the bands in your colorful language? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, we've, got, well, we've got the Young America's Night in the Park right next door to this Friday night. They're a kick ass band that helps them in the morning. And um, there's a lot going on downtown. So, I mean, this is an open day. Yoga in the park down next to Mansfield, the uh, corner of Mansfield. Okay. Good, good. Good, good. Well, she then just introduced herself. Our next presenter is Bess Chambliss of Golden Isles Mindful Movement.
Uh, my background is in um, Pilates, yoga, and bar. I've been teaching, um, I started teaching out of my house about 20 years ago, had my master's in exercise science and fitness, and um, always did it kind of privately in my home, and then I had children, and signed them up for ballet class. And when I signed them up for ballet class, I realized there was just something missing. There wasn't um, a classical uh, ballet offering in our area. And that led into Golden House Ballet Company. So the next thing I do, um, started a ballet company where we, our intention is to offer classical training and to offer the highest quality training in um, performance and professional productions. Um, teaching kids mindfulness, attention, respect, um, a lot more structure. And uh, we do the Nutcracker and Reagan Professional. We do the Golden Gala in the spring. And, um, and we also have a nonprofit sector where we uh, raise money and we sponsor children of all backgrounds to come and dance with us. If they show an interest and they show a commitment and they show up on time and they're proper um, dress, we have a dress code, and um, then they can receive a scholarship with us. Um, in that, I also have a passion for yoga, Pilates, and bar, and what it has done for me, the mindfulness of it, the intentionality, connecting, um, the physicality of strength and balance, and um, just a healthier body with a healthier mind. And I'm very passionate about sharing that with other adults through yoga and bar, ballet classes, and Pilates. Um, and so out of that, I realized when I was offering these classes under Golden Isles Ballet Company, people didn't realize I had classes for adults and people that had nothing to do with ballet. So this past six months, I've been slowly launching Golden Isles Mindful Movement. And that is um, sort of the sister company of Golden Isles Ballet. We're in the same location. We're down at the end of the block at 1312 Newcastle, right off of Queen Street. And um, I have several teachers that work with me. Like I said, we do Pilates, bar, yoga. We have an adult hip hop fitness class. We have um, adult ballet for beginners in all levels. Um, and it truly is all the things that I love and all the things that I feel have uh, enhanced my life and, and those that I love is Housed under Golden Isles Ballet Company and Golden Isles Mindful Movement. My, um, like I said, the connecting theme of the ballet company and of Mindful Movement is this uh, connecting the mind and body. And yes, the benefits of working out are a longer, leaner, more fit body, but you also have a clearer, more focused, more intentional. In these times of high stress, it's such a wonderful way to focus the mind and relieve stress. And so that is where all of it sort of comes together. My challenges have been marketing, as Amber says. It's hard to say that in a concise way. It's hard. I have a lot of passions and a lot of things I very believe in very deeply, and I want to share that with people. But um, I've had a hard time narrowing my message. Um, I originally had the Golden Isles Ballet Company website, and I've since launched an additional website for Golden Isles Mindful Movement. They toggle back and forth, um, but I just I would love you know advice on how to explain to people what makes me different and why why coming to my studio might be a different experience than there's several wonderful offerings that have a different focus, but why my focus might connect with you. Um, and I find that the mindful piece is a very current message now. I think more people are learning about meditation. We're starting to offer meditation classes. Um, though it's a current message, it's still kind of unknown to people, maybe uncomfortable to people. Um, another challenge I have besides marketing and getting the word out is, um, and I'm sure many of you feel the same way, it's what do I spend my time doing and what do I farm out or what do I hire out? And I made a big leap and hired an assistant this past year and that was a wonderful move and I keep thinking, well, maybe I need to involve more people. I have several independent contractors that work for me as instructors, um, but I have one office staff 
that helps me kind of just do the day-to-day -day sort of stuff. And I, and I kind of play with the idea of expanding that role and, and how that would work. Um, I also am very passionate when I wake up in the morning, what do I really enjoy doing is offering something I believe in, but also the scholarship program. So I, I have found that when I go out and I offer scholarships, it backfires. That it's, you know, I'm getting people that maybe aren't there for the right reasons. When I've waited and some people have suggested interested children, um, that's gone rather well. But I would love to figure out how to um, get the word out again about, about the scholarship program and what we're offering um, and attract the right type of kids that are really interested in doing dance and ballet and that um, it's not just a, a time filler, that they're really going to commit and, and do the work that, um, that we're asking of them. Um, so basically, I, I'm just looking for ideas to increase traffic. This weekend we have, I have brought a couple of my promotional materials, so something I've been doing is a free trial class passing these out. It's amazing how many I've passed out and how few have been <laughs> turned back in. Um, but it's free, so you know, you think people would um, come right back. But that's something I've tried. I'm also trying a, it's our third year, um, so I'm offering a special of three weeks of unlimited classes. You can try everything we offer, because we have so many different offerings. So you can try everything we offer. It's $33, um, which is a great deal, because it's typical class if you just dropped in would be uh, $17. And then this weekend, like I mentioned earlier, um, I hope you all can attend, we're doing yoga in the park. And so a couple of teachers were partnering with Balance Wellness Studios on the island. It's open to all studios. I'd love for Amber to come and join us. And um, we'll be teaching a yoga class from 5.30 to 6.30. Be very gentle, open to all abilities, all ages. At the end, we'll have my uh, meditation instructor, Leah Rich, she's going to be there with heartfelt meditation and lead a guided meditation for about 15, 20 minutes. So that will be a good sampling of what we offer. So, thanks for hearing me out. <laughs> Thank you. Before I ask, I take questions. When someone writes the history of why the downtown Brunswick turn around, they'll start with Susan Bates. When you talk about how Newcastle turned around, you will talk about